developing your very own web application and this will be a very basic step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it and and you know what the, uh, what are the basic things that you need to know when you're developing your own website so the let's start with the first thing that you need to know when you're making your own website the first thing that really essentially you need to know is HTML people today will tell you you don't need HTML you got a lot of softwares which can create the website for you and yeah 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 yeah, yeah. You can accept all of this, but I'll tell you one thing. If you don't know HTML, you don't know your website. And it's as simple as that. Because anytime you just click, uh, just right click uh, in any browser, click on view source, all you see is HTML code after HTML code. And anybody who knows HTML just looks at it and he understands everything. So you need to understand that this is the core of any website, of any, any website, HTML is the core you need to know it you need to understand it or else you do not get into web application development whatsoever okay so now you that now you know HTML so what is the next step the next step is to know how to style your website and for that we have CSS and CSS is really simple really basic and it's no big deal then you need to write the logic for your website because it's not about images and text anymore it's about interactivity it's about showing stat statistics and all such things I mean you can make it really attractive but if it does not give you any functionality to the user nobody's gonna come to your web page so if you need to provide some functionality you need to know some programming language with which you can code that functionality for your web page or your website so you need to know one good programming language and you should be really good at it so let's talk about the NetBeans IDE. NetBeans, as you all may know, is now Oracle, not Sun Microsystems anymore. And uh, Java, which belongs to Sun Microsystems, is now owned by Oracle. So everything is now Oracle. So this is an integrated development environment. That is the full form of IDE. What this tells you is this environment is not only for web applications but other applications as well and that's why the term integrated so you can not only develop websites or web applications in it you can also develop java applications in it java standalone applications which run on just one system and you can also develop C, C++ applications or PHP applications and the best part is you can even develop mobile applications which is a lot of craze these days so let's get started how do you make your own website how do you create it how do you do all those things so let's start with the basic the absolute basic step-by-step -step guide okay so all you gotta do is go to file new project simple now you have a list of options over here do not look at any other option but Java web just click on web application click on next now you'll get your uh, screen where you can specify the project name just write my demo okay it already exists so this is a good thing you know because I must have uh, created earlier or something like that and it already exists so what I'll do is I'll just change my name I'll just change it to my demo one and just click on next now what this option is is um, this is something that you need not worry about this is the glassfish uh, server what this glassfish server is is whenever you're running a web application you need a web environment to run that web application in but your pc does not have a web web uh, environment to support that web application so what this will do this glassfish server will create that web, web environment and then it will be uh, able to run your website even on a pc which inherently does not contain a web environment so this is what this specifies so you don't need to worry about it is everything is done automatically the context part I'll tell you later on this it will be visual <laughs> visually you'll see what this what what this means the Java double E version now the Java Enterprise Edition version will tell you which version of Java you want to use you just use the Java double E6 web which is by default click on next now these three you don't need to worry about right now these are certain options that you may think about as you progress as you go ahead as you get 
to a level of certain expertise so just don't worry about it don't select any of them and click on finish so you have created your own project now it takes a little bit of time to build up all the prerequisites for this project to be running up and running so now you get your first page just remove this part you don't need all these these are all the comments you get this part now what is this this is your first web page this web page is created by default so it does not have a lot of things in it it has the most minimalistic things that a web page needs so just look at this tag for example now this tag will tell the server the java server when it creates this is a JSP so this will be then taken and converted to a servlet which will be then displayed on the web you don't need to worry about all those things I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself so I'll just back it up now what this this tag will do is it will tell that this is text which is HTML and it will be using UDF type of encoding technique if you don't you don't need to worry about all this this does not make a difference to your programming or anything just let it be just leave it alone the meta tag is something of similar sorts you don't need absolutely need it but it's okay if it's there the title is what is displayed on the top of the browser and the tab as well and this is your text so this is enclosed within a body tag as you can see over here now what the body tag is the body tag is the actual um, body of your HTML page so this frame I would say in a browser would be your body tag and this would be your head tag so this is your entire body region and you do whatever you want to do in the body region and not, and you can give your titles and you can give your you know uh, meta tag information about your website in the head tag and whatever the contents that you have you put it in your body tag so you have created your own website you have created your own web page now this is by default now what if you want to look at it just go to projects and as you can see over here you have your my demo one project name and you have certain folders inside it the web pages will store the web pages <laughs> it's as simple as that so you, you don't need to worry about all these three pages three folders right now you just need to worry about this index.jsp this is your web page this is this page so index.jsp will tell you what is your web page like right now and if you want to add just click on we on the web page just click on new and you'll get a list of options that you want to add into the web pages folder usually you don't add anything else but purely JSP and servlet JSP pages not even servlet servlets are added in a different folder you just add your JSP pages JSP pages are your web pages they're nothing else but your web pages and you just need to know that JSP will display content on the web page that is on the browser okay now you have source packages libraries and configuration files configuration files is not used by many of the people who are developing small time web applications is not used that much source packages is used mostly when you want to keep class files that is your logical part of your website you store it in the source packages it usually will contain class files that is the dot java files so you don't need to worry about it that much right now this is your basic thing now we'll talk about how to run this project running this project is very simple you just press this this button right here the play or run button it will run your entire project but what if you have multiple JSP pages and you just want to run this particular page so all you have to do is press shift and F6 and that will start running that particular page now if you want to see where where it is that it's running you'll see it over here you'll get this thing over here it will show you all the tabs and it will show you that your project is right now it's running in the running stage this is like your console on anybody who has worked with dotnet you have an output console this is your console for the IDE of NetBeans 
as you can see you're getting a lot of information over here stating what is happening inside the server there are a lot of things that are being set up so this is the environment that I was talking about earlier this is the web environment that the glassfish server 3.1 is creating right now for your website to run on so it takes a bit of time when it is starting up for the first time because it's a lot of defaults and all those things that has to be done and now as you can see is running up and running your first website is up and running and you get this message hello world and that is what you typed in over there and you get it over here now just look at this this is the tag that you get now as you can see it's running on the glassfish server glassfish uses this port 8080 on the local host local host is like your uh, local web server it will enable you to run your web web applications on the local machine and it will g hide your IP address and you just have to link, link it with local host and that is how all of your websites are actually hosted it's not local host for everybody it's the server's IP address which is then hidden by the web application itself that is why you get that HTTP colon double uh, forward slash and then www dot that is just hiding your servers IP address if you type in the servers IP and you just put a slash at the project name and the web page you'll get the web page irrespective so so you don't need to worry about any of this right now as you can see you have created your first web page you remember the title tag in the head tag of the HTML which stated JSP page as you can see it is appearing on the tab right now on Google Chrome so this is it this is how you create your first web page next I'll show you how to link your CSS and how to write the logic for your web pages that you develop and it'll be in the next episode thank you for watching have a great day